Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about pregnancy and c-sections because well I'm pregnant again. <laughs> um one day I guess I'll figure out how this works. No I'm kidding. My husband is getting fixed this time. He doesn't have a choice. We're getting it done. So anyways besides all that this is going to be my fourth c-section. Um they do get riskier each time especially after three so it does make it a little bit nerve-wracking, but my doctor is absolutely amazing. Um, you can barely see my scar now, so I'm just, I have faith in him and God. Like, I'm good. <laughs> We're just going to breathe and let it happen. So, I asked you guys to put a few comments on my pictures, and then I did a little Insta story just to find out what you guys really kind of wanted to know when it comes to um, pregnancy and c-sections and stuff like that so with my first c-section I was 22 years old and I did not know what I was doing honestly like I had the mo natural motherly instinct that's just something that just comes to me but I was learning how to breastfeed while going through the pain of a c-section my first c-section was painful like it really did hurt um I was still up walking you know the next day um just because you do heal faster if you do get up and walk around otherwise your body kind of stiffens up and um it makes it you know harder to feel better faster so um you just don't want to overdo it because if you overdo it um you know then you can get clotting and just different stuff like that that can be worse so remember to also take your breaks but walking is good for you I was I was trying to breastfeed and I was trying to you know heal from the c-section my first time being a mom and I just I just cried like I cried and I cried I think I breastfed me or Bella for I think like two weeks like I tried but um I pumped a little bit but it was just it was so hard so I did not make it that go round but um with Brody my second c-section was much easier I was actually up walking around planning Bella's fourth birthday party um you know I was able to breastfeed a little bit longer that time but and then with Mila um c-section was so much easier so so much easier um I did feel really great and so I think I pushed it a little bit this last time and then um I started you know getting a lot of different clots and just kind of hurting so I was like okay take a step back like you don't have to be superwoman it's not necessary um and so I learned just to kind of heal a little bit more instead of trying to rush you know I was just trying to you know I was feeling great I think after um after you have a baby, it's like us moms get that super energy of like, we know we have to take care of this baby. So we have this energy and we just try and get stuff done. And then it's like week two comes along and it's like, it hits you. And it's like, oh my God, like I'm so exhausted. What's going on? Um, so that definitely kind of work this go around so with this baby I'm gonna make sure that I just kind of chill out a little bit more it's not a rush to do anything you know, just let your body heal listen to it but um, also do what you need to do so there's that I'm gonna give you a few products um, just when it comes to helping your stomach go down faster and fitting into your clothes a little bit better and healing and being able to walk around um, stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and read a few questions Okay, let's see if I can find all of these questions. Okay, so a very common question that I keep getting is, am I going to have more kids? No, no I'm not. <laughs> Which I did say that with Mila, but I mean it this time. I am not, um, no, I never actually expected to have more kids after Brody. I thought after Brody, like I was gonna be, I had my two, I was gonna be done. And, well, God had other plans for me. So, that's just kind of what happens. He sees us making plans and he's like, hmm, think again. So, um, no, I am not going to have any more kids after this. <laughs> I am definitely have my fill. I have, um, after this one, it'll be a total of five kids that we have to take care of. And 
that is a lot of kids. <laughs> so, um, and I don't have family here. He doesn't have family here. Like grandparents do not live here. So it is definitely all on us. So anytime I want to do something, I either just take the kids with me or, you know, I very rarely get a babysitter, but you know, sometimes I do that. I have two girls that I use a good bit. Um, when I do use them, they're very sweet, but um, I do it all by myself. I run a house, try and run my YouTube, take care of all my kids, no help. <laughs> so, um, so no, no more babies. Um, let's see. Okay, so recovery is definitely, from a C-section is definitely another big question. Um, so I'm gonna show you these products right here. So this is the main product. There's a few different brands, so I will link them down below, but these little corsets, um, I only have a clipped on one, but the good thing is if you have to pee, you just unbuckle this, roll it up, those big white panties fit underneath, it's great. If this is TMI for you, you can totally turn this off. If it's TMI and you have kids, I don't know what to tell you, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys. So, um, but this is what I used this last time. I got this from my friend Catherine because she used it and it helped her and I was like, okay, I've never used one before. Oh my God, this thing saved me so much. Not only did it save me with helping my stomach go down faster, but it just helps with, you know, when you're putting clothes on and, you know, instead of having that kind of jiggly belly, um, <laughs> especially if you've had a lot of kids, um, this just kind of sucks it in. So it helps, you know, heal your stomach faster, helps hold it in and kind of compress it so that when you're walking around, it's not moving um, or causing you any pain. So um, this was definitely... A saver for me so I'm gonna put the link down below for you guys so you can order one I swear even if you aren't having c-sections just a baby they have like all different kinds of things you can use but the compression just helps so much when it comes to healing um, you can also get something like this which is just you know normal panties and the um, stretchy material up here but this is not going to keep you in as tight as something like the uh, corset will so but this is also just something else you can wear another thing um like I said if this is TMI for you guys I'm sorry but they have these little things which are the thongs and I actually got these from Target I got two pairs and it has this stretchy band for your stomach and of course you can wear these when you're not pregnant too so um but if you put dresses on or anything like that this is going to help hold your stomach in but also you don't have to have the granny panty thing going on this of course going to be you know after four to six weeks or whenever you stop bleeding stuff like that so um but these are just still really good to have keeps your stomach held in it's just really nice <laughs> after you have a baby and when it comes to besides products like that when it comes to healing honestly you have to get up you have to walk around it's painful sometimes I get it um, it also depends on who your doctor is and how well they do the c-section walking around heals you so much faster do not lay around the entire time and get stuff you have to push through you have to get up walk around but also you want to listen to your body do not overdo it don't try and be superwoman don't think that you have to be all glam and perfect after having a baby it's not necessary um, if that's your thing, then do that, but don't feel like you have to do that to be, you know, this amazing mom, um, because that's definitely not what it's about, you know, taking care of yourself, feeling good, having that moment with your baby, those are the most important things after having a baby, um, not your looks, so just remember that, um, because I think with Instagram, we get wrapped up in trying to be perfect and catch up with other moms and you know stuff like that but we also don't realize how much help um maybe a lot of people have like for me with this last one I did not have any help like whatsoever because it was such a last minute deal I didn't have any family here um we didn't have Mark's family come down it was just kind of we're just gonna do it so Mark was slammed with work um you know, John, the kid's dad, 
he was slammed with work um but he did help me with the kids that week but by week two I wasn't supposed to be driving yet and I was taking the kids to school and picking them up you know so it's just stuff like that like you just gotta do what you gotta do but um the more help you have of course the easier it is so if you have help please be thankful because I don't even know what I would do if I had grim you know like my mom or dad living here and helping out that would be like game changer, but I didn't, so. <laughs> but anyways, I'm a tough mom because of it, so that works. All right, next up, let's get some more questions. How much weight do I gain? And actually with all of my, um, everybody's different. Please take that in before this even comes out of my mouth because whatever you gain really does not matter. It just depends on you and your body and you know, what, how active you are and all this stuff. So, um, with all three of my pregnancies so far, I've gained 20 pounds. Um, just at the T every single time, 20 pounds. Usually by, I think 20 weeks, I've gained like 10 pounds. So, um, but the thing is, is it really does, I mean, my face does kind of get swollen, but it goes all to my stomach. Like I am all belly when I am pregnant. So, 20 pounds may sound great, but it's really not when it goes to one single area. So for me, my skin is not very stretchy. So I have stretch marks all the way across my stomach, you know, up to my belly button. So getting the weight off is, you know, difficult as a woman anyways when it comes to your stomach. So this just kind of makes it a little bit harder, but it's 20 pounds. So, you know, when after you have a baby, most of that's already gone. So then it's usually the last 10 pounds that you have to lose um so it's really not that bad but it's still you know you have to worry about the sagging and the pooching and all that stuff so yeah so I gained 20 pounds each time with each kid so far I'm 11 weeks and I've only gained a pound which is just weird to me but I think it's also because I'm so active with catching up with Mila and you know juggling all the kids in the house and um and I'm also a snacker. I don't sit down and eat huge meals every meal. Like, I just don't. I like to snack all throughout the day. So, I think maybe that helps too. Another C-section. I did say that earlier. Yes, it is. Especially being my fourth. It is a little scary. But my doctor is absolutely amazing. So, I'm hoping, you know, everything just goes smoothly. Um, how did I get the pooch down so fast? Honestly, I feel like it stuck around a really long time this time. Um, not sure why, but it just did. It was harder to get off. No, it wasn't harder. Let me take that back. It just, I felt like it just kind of stuck out more. And maybe it's because I have had so many C-sections. But it did go down a good bit, enough to where I could wear jeans and it didn't have that little pooch. But it was still there, of course, when I took my clothes off. Um, but not as bad. And that honestly, I think just came from working out, like eating right and working out. That's the only thing that is ever going to take your stomach down are those things. So I did a cleanse actually a few, what was it? Two months maybe before I found out I was pregnant. I think that's about right. I could be totally wrong. But anyways, I did a cleanse first and I was working out and all this stuff. So that definitely just helps. Like you have to work, work out and weight train and do stuff like that to get that stomach back to where it should be. Everybody's different too. So I can tell you that and it just may not work for you. So you just have to really try and see what you can do. But definitely working out and eating is um, important. Um, how is co-parenting going with the older ones now that you have babies? Um, so co-parenting is, it's totally fine. Like we all on all sides, we work together so, so well. Um, there's hardly ever any troubles whatsoever. So I'm very, very, very thankful for that. Um, the kids do miss their baby sister whenever they have to go with their other parent. But, um, we, that's why we are, you know, blessed and thankful that, we're pregnant again because it's going to give Mila someone to play with when they do have to leave on the weekends and that way she doesn't grow up, you know, by herself, you know, having to learn how to play by herself and stuff like that on those certain weekends. So that is definitely a blessing that I am thankful for. Yeah, they, 
gosh, they're just so obsessed with her. They love her so much and it's just the cutest thing. Everybody gets along pretty well and it's, you know, we're still actually new to this whole blended family thing, but um, I think we do a pretty good job at it. So we're still learning as we go because it's definitely not always the easiest thing in the book, but it's going pretty good. So yeah, they love her. That is all the questions that I have. I didn't get a ton. I think it's because I just posted differently. Um, so I could have probably done better at that, but I can definitely film another video, you know, whenever about more stuff, which I will when it comes to baby products and stuff like that. I find out in three more weeks what we're having. So we're excited to see what that is. Um, we kind of want a girl again just because that way we don't have to buy all new stuff and we can just pass it down and make those girls share a room but um who knows it could be a boy i don't know i don't know so we will see okay i think that's it i mean i don't know this pregnancy has definitely been almost kind of a mix it's like i feel like i do when i was pregnant with the girls but then there's a touch of how i felt with brody with Brody, I actually threw up like six, seven times a day for like 12 weeks. I dropped 10 pounds before I gained anything. It was awful. Like it was so bad. That's why I swear I was never going to have any more kids because that was so bad. And I was like, if every pregnancy is like this, I don't want to ever be pregnant again. And thankfully it was not with Mila and it's not bad like that this time. But I definitely have weird things going on. So... Um, sugar, definitely, I'm sensitive to sugar. Um, meat, I'm finding out, like, chicken grosses me out. <laughs> I cannot do chicken right now. Um, I haven't tried too much. I tried some pulled pork the other night, and it was actually okay, but the smell of it afterwards, I was like, get this out of my kitchen. Um, it did not smell great afterwards. I'm obsessed with, like, yogurt and fruit. Definitely a lot of yogurt and fruit right now. And I like salads. So I'm trying to um, make sure I eat better and cleaner this time. I did pretty good with Mila. I have my cheat days, you know, where if I'm craving something, I'm going to eat it. I don't really put a limit on myself, but um, definitely just craving more healthier things this go round. I think, yeah. You'll see me eat french fries and cookies every now and then, so... Anyways, all right, guys, I think that is it for this video. Um, if you guys do have any questions, feel free to always ask me, and I will answer your questions. Um, I'm always down to, you know, give you any info I can. Of course, I'm not a doctor, so um, everything I say is just from my own personal opinion. Always consult your doctor. Throwing in that little disclaimer right there. Yeah, it's going good. Baby number four coming at you. Maybe this one will have brown hair. We'll see. Or it could be another redhead or blonde. I don't know. Birdie's the only one with dark hair. <laughs> we'll see what this one comes out like. So anyways. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped. I will link those products down below for you guys. And I will see you next time.